EA Sports with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Well, here we are at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. We're located along the St. John's River in the Sunshine State, Florida. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Nabolo for EA Sports. Frank, what stands out when you look at the wetlands? The swampland, the gators, um, really it's a good driving golf course, Rich. Not a lot of fairway bunkers in play here at Wetlands, but um, you, if you drive the ball well here, you can, really can get a good score out here at Wetlands. Uh, they play the web.com here every now and again, so um, we've seen some good scores over the years, but uh, always fun to be playing in uh, Florida. Sun on your back, warm golf conditions. That is massive off the tee. Meters, yards, I don't care how you measure that. That's got to be what? 300 meters, 325 yards, something like that. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. Oh, beautiful swing, and the result is every bit as good. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. That is an excellent play right there. The approach, getting him another good look. Been pretty good for Eagle. This distance, just trying to take care of business. That's a nice roll, and with that birdie. Now, two under par for the tournament. Now to the second, par three, 225 yards. Come on. Come on. Ah. God damn it. It was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Well, that's a big green. Just managed to get it smack bang in the middle of it. It's that sneaky distance. Hurt Frank because it looked good all the way. Well, this will test his metal. Just a couple of feet. And so just getting started, even par so far. The third hole here at the wetlands is a par four, 460 yards. Frank. It appears to be a pretty straightforward tee shot. It is, and actually, Rich, when I was watching the web.com event here, uh, this is where I saw those young, talented players really take advantage of a hole like this. Just ramrod straight. They teed it up and just ripped it down there, and these are the sort of holes they can often make three on. Bunkers sort of short left and right. Plenty of green to work with. Nice high-flying second shot will be well rewarded here. Just a beautiful approach shot. These putts keep the round together. God damn it. Oh, man. I just pushed it. I mean, that hurts. Could use this. Putt for par. Frank, that's a par. And onward we go. And we pick up action at the fourth. As we catch up with today's featured golfer, Frank, what's the key to generating some momentum? Just hitting good shots. I know it sort of sounds like the old cliche, but uh, plenty of opportunities. 
few 10, 15 foot putts start going down. This round will change dramatically. Oh, well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a formality now. Getting set now over the putt. In red figures at one under par. Now to the fifth hole here at the Wetlands. Par five, 635 yards. A lot going on here, Frank. The shorter hitters don't really worry about the uh, the swamp land on the left because it really only cuts in to worry the longer hitters if you want to try and reach this par five and two. So shorter hitters, two good shots, set up a wedge shot. Longer hitters, are you straight enough to hit it into the narrowest part of the fairway? Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Ah, Christ. Ugh. Third shot, looking for a good one. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Ooh. Fuck. Frank in a bit of trouble here at the par five, missing the green on that third shot. You're just battling to make par. And this is going to be difficult. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. Makeable punt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. Steady, solid, and at one under par right now. Onto the par four sixth here at the wetlands. And Frank, how does that water factor into the way you play this hole? It bisects this fairway beautifully, Rich. Uh, 233 yards to the run out on the first section of fairway. And that might be worth considering for the short hitters. To try and flash it across the narrowest part of those wetlands, 276 yards. And of course, the more horsepower you got, actually the easier this tee shot becomes. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. God damn it. That's a good looking putt, just not falling right now. No, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Trying to move on with a par in his pocket. Minus one for the day. Here's another scoring opportunity, Frank, a par five. The seventh is just a shade under 600 yards. And it bends gently to the left, Rich. Longer hitters can obviously get home, and nothing uh, really to be worrying about with that second you shot suck. if you can reach. The wetlands are well to the right of this hole um, for the second shot. But uh, if you want to play to the three-shotter, then that's a very safe, conservative way and really shouldn't cause you any problems whatsoever. So missed the fairway, and now he's back where he needs to be. Yeah, minimize the problems. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. And it makes the green in regulation. Locked in on the read and the speed. It is a four-round tournament, setting himself up for a good weekend, maybe a great one. Young Star makes his birdie. Eighth hole here at the Wetlands, par three, 203 yards. You like this hole, Frank? I do, actually, but you have to have a little look at your yardage book because that uh, front bunker will make this hole look a little shorter uh, to the eye than actually what it plays. Green gets a little narrow as it gets deeper, but um, flat. And, uh, well, I wouldn't say ah. it three here, not too bad. Well, Mr. Ball does not meet Mr. Fairway. It's off, off, off. Rough. 
Frank, this ball's in the rough. Do you like to hinge just a little bit quicker on the takeaway when the ball is down like this? No, when it's down, you've just got to make sure that you wind up almost like you're hitting a tee shot. Uh, this is not one to be dallied with. You've got to hit it powerfully, and you really have to focus on that club getting through the grass, past the ball, and out the other side. Mm. How does that not go in? Amazing. Stroke looked good. Uh, line looked good. Just did not take that final break. Whew, this is tough to watch. Um, I've already got my eyes covered. Yeah, no shit. Frank, looking at this par 5 ninth hole, it's 621 yards. I need to make birdie here. What's the best way to go about it? Well, if you're a long hitter, then there's a chance you can reach this par 5 and 2, Rich. But really, oh, he is winding this one up. Does he have the power? Excellent looking shot here. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Second shot. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. <coughs> Just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. And he's set up for his third shot here, looking to get it on the green with this. Oh! That's well played. Now a good look at Birdie. Really? This is an awkward length. Might go unnoticed, Rich, but that birdie. Just sneak inside the top 15. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18 hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Good Come swing. On. Good shot yet again. Come on. Damn. Early part of this second nine. A good approach shot. And now, pretty good chance for birdie. This is a 13-footer. Ah. Tough start to the backside, Frank. Yeah, it doesn't bode well, too. You start losing confidence with the putter early on. So a steady climber with the par into the top ten. Yeah, another scrapper. Moving on to the par for 11th, just a little bit more than 440 yards. God damn, motherfucker. Oh, just took off the face. That, Frank, is position A. Wouldn't you like to have that in your bag every day? Oh, but Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Fuck that, we're going for the hole. The only thing you're really looking at right now Dude. is just the play. Stuffed it in there really close, and now just to tap it. This one just requires a little bit of focus. And with that putt, he moves the three under. Stepping up to the tee at the first par five on this back nine. It's the 12th, and it is 576 yards. Yeah, this hole bends to the right, opposite direction to what 11 does. A good tee shot, and you can actually think about reaching this par five and two, but anything around the front or front left, still going to leave a relatively simple pitch shot. So when you stand on that tee, think of birdie at least here. That is massive off the tee. Meters, yards, I don't care how you measure that. That's got to be, what, 300 meters, 325 yards, something like that. Love when they repeat the commentary. Come on. 
Get up there. Oh. Just a phenomenal five feet for Eagle. Now a great chance for an Eagle. Not a gimme, but well within his range. That was mm, cool. I pushed like it. It was certainly going in. Oh, I suck. Looks primed right now. Anything other than backing up. Very aggressive. That birdie, now in second. Here we go at the par 4, 13, 452 yards. That. What's the best angle of attack? Um, the straight line really is the is the best way here, like a lot of holes on the golf course. But straight, as we know, is not often easy. Fairway does start to widen up the further out there you get it. So for the longer hitters, this hole actually plays relatively easy. For the shorter hitters in that narrow area, that'll leave you a lengthy second shot where you just might have to bisect the two front greenside bunkers. Slice it again. God damn it. Nice. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. Good chance here. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Now to the par 4 13th. Frank, what are the options here? Well, another straight one required here, Rich. At uh, 450, it's not overly long in today's standard, but still, that fairway widens up where the longer hitters will actually hit. And uh, bunkers, once again, short of a green. So as long as you can fly that second shot to at least the front of the green, then they really do not come into play. It's that sneaky distance. Nice. Continues to putt beautifully. The last part five on this golf course is the 15th. It's 590 yards. You think, Frank, this is the time to be aggressive? Certainly is. Longer hitters must be licking their chops on this par five. 300-plus uh, yard tee shot. You can definitely get it on the shorter hitters. Just set it up for a nice uh, wedge shot. But if you are going to go at this par five and two, well protected by those three bunkers. Good contact, good result. That's an absolute tracer right there. In the fairway and well over 320 yards. Okay, let's see if I can get up there. Just a gutsy shot right there. A good look at Eagle coming up. And getting ready for the puck. For Eagle. I shanked the last one. Can I nail this one? Yes. Just continuing to play some really good golf. Eight under par for the championship. Moving to the 16th hole here at the Wetlands, 455-yard par four, and you can see, Frank, that green is heavily guarded. Yeah, consequently, you're really going to have to judge that second shot. You know, your yardage, and also good strikes required to safely keep the ball on the putting surface. Wow, Frank, look at that one. Run out, just blistered that tee shot. Yeah, that has to be 325 if it's an inch. Should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. What do you try up next? That's what I'm talking about. Yes. You may have lost track at home, but we're keeping count. That is nine under for the day. 
Here we go at the 17th. It's a par three, and it takes one good strike. That's what you like about par threes of this length, Frank. 238 yards. Can't fake it here. You certainly can't, and that green just shapes uh, a little bit to the player's right, so the best shot to hit in here would be a little draw. And uh, that is also the avenue provided by those two bunkers. One God damn trees. The other one back <clears throat> Frank, you like his chances to walk away with a par here? Well, with a good shot, Rich, yeah, that's certainly on the cards in that. And um, and you think, you just ride a par down at the end of the end of the hole, don't tell anyone Ew. about it. It certainly won't affect the scorecard at the end of the day. So that's the goal right here. So a tester from four feet. Nothing wrong with that part, part. Well, this is it, Frank, the 18th hole. And on paper, it looks like you can get this one. You can make a birdie because it's only 377 yards. You're exactly right, Rich. Just a nice drive. Doesn't even have to be a drive. <coughs> Whoever was watching up, bailed. Uh, really short iron wedge into this short par four and um ah, uh, shit on a birdie. i know you do too because a little walk to the clubhouse there on the left maybe a hot dog or a hamburger frank he is one of the longest hitters in the game but at some point you have to hit a fairway yeah he's uh, certainly not the straightest i think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle frank it's not about getting the ball close to the hole from that spot mm. Well, he had no chance to get it close. Uh, I thought he had very, very, very little chance of getting it on the green. So, given that, that was a very good shot. Come on. Ah. So close. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, a little change in the uh, attitude oh, right it. now. You've let one go. You've got to really knuckle down there and make sure you don't drop a shot. It's important this one goes on. So through one round, Frank, our leader really put on a good show today. They certainly did, Rich. It was truly a great performance, especially from Tita Green. It's not easy. Sports Rory McIlroy PGA Tour. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, oh, proudly God, presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Long and straight. That's how you do it. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. This shot he is on the fairway, over 300 yards. <laughs> Ready for his third shot, needs to hit this close. Good-looking shot right here. Oh, nice. Really in control of this hole. Birdie yesterday and another opportunity on the way. Birdie try again here today. God That's damn not it. how you picture it, Frank, when you step on that first tee. No, you'd, uh, you'd like to go back to that first tee right now and start again. Locked in on the read and the speed. That's a solid par. Still in it, Frank.
On to the second hole, par three of 225 yards. Good hole, Frank. It certainly is, and the two bunkers, one left and one right, they remind you where not to go, but they don't really encroach on the green. So stay with a positive attitude on that tee, and you'll find that green is plenty big enough. And it makes the green in regulation. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Come on. Yeah. Ooh, almost fell just a few inches from dropping. Sometimes the game just isn't fair. That's a nice confidence builder right there. You make those for par and you keep things steady. We're at the third hole now at the wetlands. It's a par four, 460 yards. Frank, you watched the web.com tour event down here. And what'd you see when the young bombers came to this hole? Oh, this is a hole they just love, Rich. You know, it's flat, it's long, and it's straight. So they just tee it up, aim it straight at the green, hit it as hard as they can. And uh, some of these guys were just going in with an eight or a nine iron. It was quite amazing. And of course, when you go with an eight or a nine iron into this hole, you look at three more often than not. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. He just blasted that one down the fairway. Out there about 325 yards. Chance to get it close here. Come on. Oh! Oh! God damn! There's another laser right at the flagstick. <laughs> now I'll find a way to fuck up the putt. Nope, got it. And that birdie will help the cause. Par three fourth, 250 yards, and you tee off just in front of the swamp, so golf cart's not going to get you to the green here, is it, Frank? No, it might need an airboat to go across that. Some big time spin. Right in the heart of the green. <laughs> ah, Frank hit almost the green, stuck it. But just didn't have enough backspin. So uh, you, you wonder what he's thinking on that second shot. In the, in the hole. hole. Just a sensational shot right there. Tied for the lead. What a hole this is, Frank. Par three, four, 250 yards and. We're, we're teeing off right in front of the swamp there. You might see the odd alligator pop it. He's loading up on it. Look at the coil there. Really powering up here. Right out of the center of the bat. Did you hear that? Long just met longer. Oh, that was sweet. Straight down the middle. Nice position. Short grass. Second shot. Who the hell's texting me? As long as I made a fucking peep all day. Give me a bounce. There you go. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Oh! oh can't hide the flag stick from that man. Almost hold out again. Frank, this would be a nice way to jumpstart the round. Yeah, his momentum uh, can quickly go in the right direction if he makes this. Racking them and stacking them. That's 12 under par now for the tournament. Par 4 6th here at the wetlands. 440 yards and water to deal with. 
Two choices here, Rich. Lay it up, short of the wetlands, or, oh, well, chance it, brave enough, tee it up and flash it across the wetlands to just a mere short iron into this lengthy par four. Get up. There we go. Oh, this looks good. Certainly is. Damn. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. That should be pretty good right there. Give me a roll. So. There you go. So a chance for Birdie after another solid approach shot. Now this for Birdie came away with par in the previous round. Uh, looked like it was certainly going in. And getting ready for the putt. Damn it. That's how you maintain momentum. You make those putts for par. Here at the par 5 7th at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club, 592 yards. Come on. Outstanding tee shot. Yeah, ball sitting up. You don't have to worry about the wind or anything there. You just take a full-blooded cut at the second shot from here. Double legal. Let's go. That was a big, bold strike, and now a chance for a big, bold move. Hut for Eagle coming up. Oof. Yeah. How did that stay out, Frank? No shit. Did everything but go in. He has a birdie opportunity here. Who knows? It is a four-round tournament, setting himself up for a good weekend, maybe a great one. Young Star makes his birdie. Eighth hole here at the Wetlands, par three, 203 yards. You like this hole, Frank? I do, actually, but you have to have a little look at your yardage book, because that uh, front bunker will make this hole look a little shorter uh, to the eye than actually what it plays. The green gets a little narrow as it gets deeper, but um, flat. You stick. And, uh, well, I wouldn't say easy. Three here, not too bad. Didn't cover the flag stick on that one, but on the green, safely, with about 30 feet to go. Oof, damn. This one has a good line. E oh, nice. This one has a chance, and he has it. Beautiful putt. Finishing up the front side here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club with a par 5, 621 yards. Frank, looking at this par 5 ninth hole, it's 621 Aww. yards. I need to make birdie here. What's the best way to go about it? Well, if you're a long hitter, then there's a chance you can reach this par 5 and 2, Rich. But really the best way to make birdie here, good tee shot, and then contemplate the layup in between the first two bunkers is a nice section of fairway. And that's not going to leave you much in for that third shot to a green that's very receptive. So really, birdie can be made the hard way. Wedge and a putt. Fuck that, get aggressive. Give me a roll. On the green. Needs sort of miracle putt. There you go. Bogey here yesterday, chance to better that today. Oof. And no help from my goddamn caddy. Thanks. Just trying to get it close. If it goes in, that's awesome. Oh! Just an amazing display. 
Nice. Holy shit. The ninth hole, Frank, is a muscular par five, 621 yards. You see why you got length is a huge advantage of this golf course, um, just under 7,700 yards. This hole here, another example, good tee shot. Perhaps think of going for the par five and two. Hey, I can't really do that because freaking trees markers. are in the way. That sort of annoy you with your layup there. You to make sure you avoid ah, all of those shit. to leave yourself a nice little wedge shot in Ugh. here if you can't reach it in two. <sighs> That's a ball. Second shot. Good look at the green. Ooh, it's thick. That's a sensible approach shot right there. In good position on the green. Oof. Oh. No, no, no. And that's not the way you want to start the back nine. Yeah, this no shit. And a drop shot. God damn it. Hit it. Been pretty good all day from this distance. Just trying to take care of business. Double bogey. Ugh. Ouch, that hurts. Double bogey. Yeah, no shit. Moving on to the par 4 11th. Just a little bit more than 440 yards. Nicely played shot, about 310 yards down the fairway. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Uh, this looks like it's going to find the target. Nice. Terrific golf shot. And now, that for an easy birdie. Made par yesterday, this one for birdie. Oh, you got to be kidding me. He got robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Just a little tap in here. I'm a friggin' leafable. I suck. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. So on this back nine, we started with a par three, then a par four, and now we get to a par five. The twelfth is 576 yards. Yeah, nice blend of holes there that you just referenced. 11 bends to the left, consequently 12 will bend in the other direction. Good drive required. Um, from there, just setting up perhaps, uh, you know, 7 iron, 6 iron, into a green that's sort of fairly uniform in shape and uh, should present a birdie with a good second shot. We're going for eagle. <clears throat> Make up those two that has lost. That's doable. Chance to get it close here. This has really been impressive. Started off slowly, just didn't have a whole lot. Oh. Hung in there, fought when it wasn't going their way, and now here they are with a few birdies, really playing well at the closing stretch. Putting on a show, this tournament moves to 15 under par. Now to the par four 13. Frank, what are the options here? Well, another straight one required here, Rich. It's uh, 450. It's not overly long in today's standard, but still, that fairway widens up where the longer hitters will actually hit. And uh, bunkers, once again, short of a green. So as long as you can fly that second shot to at least the front of the green, then they really do not come into play. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. Come on. That's well played. Now a good look at Birdie. Locked in on the read and the speed. Oof. God damn it. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Bit of a disappointment there. Trying to get out of here with just one drop shot. Damn this it. is for Bogey. Bad news is, Frank, that's a bogey, but the good news still has the lead. I am free falling. Hold another, though. Moving on to the tricky 14th here at the wetlands. It's 204 yards, but there is plenty of trouble out there. Give me some backspin. Come on. Come on. Midway through this back nine could use this birdie here at the 14th. Birdie try again here today. Had a nice Downhill, breaking left yesterday. to right. God, I'm hungry. Come on. Oh my gosh, that hurts. Mm -hmm. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. It's a very makeable putt here. He is All of a sudden, I can't make a freaking putt. What the hell? Round. That's a nice confidence builder right there. You make those for par, you keep things steady. Final par five on the backside here at the wetlands, 590 yards. Frank, did you hear the sound of that coming off the club face? It was like a cannon. That's a good spot right there. Sent a cup. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot, he is on the fairway. Over 300 yards. Okay, the second shot now at this par five. All right. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. The bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Oof. That's how you keep a round going, making from that distance. Moving to the 16th hole here at the wetlands, 455 yard par four, and you can see, Frank, that green is heavily guarded. And consequently, you're really gonna have to judge that second shot. Your yardage, and also good strikes required. Safely keep the ball on the putting surface. They've had some meat behind it. Chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity oh, with his second shot here. Oh, nice. This will be a great look at Bird. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Made it. 16th hold at the wetlands is a par four, 455 yards. Once again, another reward for a straight tee shot, uh, but this green heavily guarded by sand. And so trees. Good tee shot. Uh, and, well, this one, you're going to have to hit one of the better iron shots required at wetlands. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. That is an excellent play right there. The approach. Giving him another good look. This from seven feet. Ugh. Rich, that just adds insult to injury to the rest of the field. Another birdie, and the gap even wider. Ooh, a whole three viewers. Performance. 
Final hole here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. It's par four. It's not a long one, 377 yards. We're putting there the asses in the seats. out there somewhere. Well, not really if you keep your wits about you. Just position the tee shot. You don't have to hit driver down here. Even a three wood's only going to leave a short iron. If you hit the three wood, 250, 260 yards, do the maths, it's only 120 yards left. With that, with the scoring club, try and get that inside 10, 15 feet. Finish with a birdie. But if you stray, then what? Oh, no. We don't think of straying on this hole. This is the last hole. Oh. Got to finish well. But I'm thinking about gators. Are there gators out there? Uh, well, there's gator on the menu. See if he can go one better than yesterday when he made par. It's part for birdie. Continues to amaze yet another birdie. And what a day it's been. There you have it. The second round is complete. Another solid effort put together. And it shows on the scorecard. And after two rounds, you really start to see uh, not only who's playing well, but who's consistent. EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live third-round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Long and straight. That's how you do it. I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Second shot. <clears throat> He's set up for his third shot, looking to get it on the green with this. Put it in. It should be pretty good right there. Oh! On the safe side. Oh, can't hide the flag stick from that man. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. So, Frank, what do you think of the start so far? Rock solid. Um, very impressed. Now to the second, par three, 225 yards. This one's looking good. That's a beautiful shot, and that sets him up for a really easy putt. Shouldn't be a problem. I'll prop that I'll find a way to miss. Has it for another birdie. Two holes, two birdies. Fairly straightforward par four now. The third at the wetlands is 460 yards straight away. It is 460 yards. Uh, it can be chopped down a lot of different ways. 300 yard tee shot, and it's only 160. But if you're ah, more, 280, 180, the hole ah. becomes that much longer, that much harder. We moved that one out there, but he is not going to like the lie. Uh, that moved down in the rough. Uh, I gotta make something to eat. He's putting for birdie now. Oof. You love him. You're on the air. That's another one. Wow, check this out, Frank. Par three, fourth, 250 yards. This is a really cool hole. It is. You tee off, and uh, that tee shot right across the swampland into a crescent shaped green, and of course. It is protected by that bunker that just cuts in. It doesn't give you very much depth on that middle line of the green. So if the pin's in the middle, that's when the hole plays its most difficult. Ah, shit. I overshot it. 
Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. But, uh, you wonder what he was thinking on that. Settles in, looking to knock it in tight. Yeah, knock it in tight. Oh! Frank, mistake-free golf. You hope you can keep it together. Possibility of a very special round here. Yeah, the only, uh, the only real thing to worry about is, is not to get too far ahead of yourself. At the moment, the swing looks tremendous. Uh, you just keep the round ticking over one hole suck. at a time. I know it sounds like a cliche, but right now, he's exactly where he wants to be. So just a formality. He's made it. Par 3 fourth, 250 yards, and you tee off just in front of the swamp, so... Golf cart's not going to get you to the green here, is it, Frank? No, it might need an airboat to go across that. There's something about a well-hit shot. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. And I think I blocked myself with the friggin' trees. <clears throat> Second shot coming up here at the par five. Yes, I did. About 110 yards to the flag stick, and that's where the hole is, right at the bottom of it. Good swing, good shot yet again. That's well played. All right, that works. Oh, good look at Birdie. Birdie try again here today. Good pot. Par 4 sixth here at the wetlands. 440 yards and water to deal with. Two choices here, Rich. Lay it up, short of the wetlands, or, oh, well, chance it. Brave enough. Oh, he's winding this one up. Does he have the power? Looks to be putting everything into this one. Just destroy it. Get up. Squeeze that one, Frank. That is the champion of the mashes. He mashed them. I don't know if that button can be used again after that. This is going to be close. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. And getting ready for the putt. Nice. In for birdie. Here's another scoring opportunity, Frank. A par five. The seventh is just a shade under 600 yards. And it bends gently to the left, Rich. Longer hitters can obviously get home, and nothing really to be worrying about with that second shot if you can reach. The wetlands are well to the right of this hole um, for the second shot. But uh, if you want to play to the three shotter, then that's a very safe, conservative way and really shouldn't cause you any problems whatsoever. And from the fairway for his second shot here. A little bit of power I can get up into. Give me a roll. Yes. Oh shit. Oh, Ooh, almost shot. double eagled it. Setting up for an eagle here. And I shanked it. God damn so it. So close. And yet it still counts for another shot. I swear my putting sucks. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. On to the eighth. It's a par three, 203 yards. What's going on here, Frank? Interesting par three, really. It, it, it looks anything other than a straightaway hole. That bunker short of this green gives you like an optical illusion. You think it's lapping up with the front of this green. It's actually you know, sort of three or four yards before you get to the putting surface. Um, a little bit of a drop off behind this green and it narrows out the deeper the green gets. So uh, a tricky little par three. He really likes this hole. Made birdie yesterday. Can he do it again today? Oh, 
Nice. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Frank, looking at this par 5 ninth hole, it's 621 yards. I need to make birdie here. What's the best way to go about it? Well, if you're a long hitter, then there's a chance you can reach this par 5 and 2, Rich. But really, the best way to make birdie here, good tee shot, and then contemplate the layup. In between the first two bunkers, there's a nice section of fairway. And that's not going to leave you much in for that third shot to a green that's very receptive. So really, birdie can be made the hard way. Wedge and a putt. Wow, that is a monster drive down there, about 315 yards. Set for his next shot from a good position in the fairway. Frank, over the course of the last 15 years or so, there have been a number of initiatives within the game of golf just to try to grow the sport. Yeah, we've seen the PGA Junior League, which is a series of competitions, obviously, for juniors to play. But the first tee really is worldwide now, just to try and introduce um, players from all over the world into the game of golf. They're introduced with club professionals, they learn skills that are essential really to play the game of golf. But uh, in 2014 was a real Damn. step, what I think, in the right direction to, to showcase the junior talent around the world with the drive, chip and putt, where you actually get a chance to play the drive, chip and putt final at Augusta National, the home of the Masters. Imagine young kids, boys and girls, eight years old, 11 years old, being able to go home and tell their friends, tell their families, hey, I have something in common with Jack Nicklaus, with Arnold Palmer, with Phil Mickelson, with Tiger Woods. I won at Augusta National Golf Club. Cleared the tree. Ah, no, I didn't. Into the bunker. Ugh. Just a little offline, so now, Frank, he's going to have to deal with a rough. Well, it'd be interesting to see how strong he is. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Too much power. Way too much Frank, power. God close, damn. But from that line, not bad. Oh, that's excellent. Seriously, given the conditions, Rich. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Get in, get in. Yeah, I shorted no, it. No, no, no. Uh, that's not the way you want to start the back nine. This yeah, putt, bogey, really? And a drop shot. Clean this up with a tap. In this situation, Richard Bogey's not all that bad. Still has the lead. Par 4, 11th hole, 443 yards. Frank, what's the best way to play it? Nice straight drive off the tee, then uh, really reduces this par four to My size. broadcast is going to stop in two seconds. Short and left don't really no, cause an issue. Nice. It's a little tiny, though, but uh, even if you miss the green a little bit on the right side, it's a relatively simple chip. Second shot. Good look at the green. This is a good-looking shot. Mm. Virtual, ga virtual gaming. No, I do not. I actually can't stand uh, even watching golf on TV, but I love playing it in video game form for together. whatever uh, reason. Oh. 
Oh, come on. You can't leave it short, Frank. Oh, and especially right in the middle. In for par. I suck. Stepping up to the tee at the first par five on this back nine. It's the 12th, and it is 576 yards. Yeah, this hole bends to the right, opposite direction to what 11 does. A good tee shot, and you can actually think about reaching this par five and two, but anything around the front or front left, still going to leave a relatively simple pitch No, shot. I shouldn't. I don't so have the patience in real tee. life. Think of birdie at least here. Second shot. So I get up and two. Nice. Oh, damn. Super Almost shot. double eagled it. So uh, that's as good as it's going to get. There's going to be no worries about making that one. What a tremendous display of golf this has been. Certainly throwing an eagle against the field, too. So we've seen it all buildings, eagles, just blitzing the field from start to finish. Here we go at the par 4th, 13th, 452 yards. What's the best angle of attack? Um, the straight line really is the is the best way here, like a lot of holes in the goals, but straight, as we know, is not often easy. Damn! Fairway does start to widen up the further out there you get it. So for the longer hitters, this hole actually plays relatively easy. For the shorter hitters, in that narrow area, that'll leave you a lengthy second shot where you just might have to bisect the two front greenside bunkers. <coughs> <clears throat> this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. And the only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. No I've always been really there. good at golf you games. I don't know why. Who damn back to the PlayStation 1 Tiger Woods games? Always just, I don't this know. Again for just had a knack for it. Oh, God. Hard putt. Downhill. Oh, oh that hurt. It did. Shot gone forever. Came to the putt, excited to make birdie. Now, settle for par. Yeah, little change in the uh, attitude right now. When you've let one go, you've got to really knuckle down there and make oh, sure come on. you don't kill me here. Shot. It's important this one goes in. Just to tap in to finish the hole. That sucks. Just drip that in. Well, it's four and a quarter inches. Use it all. And that's the reason why I can't play uh, golf in real life, because it's so close, I'm going to throw my club the into the uh, trees. Here at the wetlands, it's 204 yards, but there is plenty of trouble out there. Well, there's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Bogey here yesterday, chance to better that today. Oh, come on, man. Wrong time to be leaking oil here at the 14th hole, Frank. Well, to state the obvious, too, that was very makeable. That's the one you'd expect to make more often than not. That's going to hurt. Good work right there. He'll settle for par. Got a big lead, but could be so much bigger. Final par five on the back side here at the wetlands. It's 590 yards. Which is really a tempting yardage. A good tee shot, perhaps. Think of reaching the par five and two. But uh, this green, well protected by three bunkers. Two on the left side and one short right. But, uh, hey, fortune favors the brave. At least that's what I was told. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. That's an absolute tracer right there. In the fairway and well over 320 yards. So I get up and two again. Oh, damn it. Yeah, through PlayStation Network, and I assume, uh, and, uh, uh, and uh, Xbox Online, too. Now the third shot at the par five. In the hole! Nice. Hold out with an eagle. 16th hole at the wetlands is a par four, 455 yards. Once again, another reward for a straight tee shot, uh, but this green heavily guarded by sand. So, good tee shot. Uh, and, well, this one, you're going to have to hit one of the better iron shots required at wetlands. Thank you. 
Wow, Frank, look at that one. Hunt out just blistered that tee shot. Yeah, that has to be 325 if it's an inch. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Oh, oh, damn. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Really solid strike. Here we go at the 17th. It's a par three, and it takes one good strike. That's what you like about par threes of this length, Frank. 238 uh, yards. Can't fake it here. You certainly can't, and that green just shapes uh, a little bit to the player's right. So the best shot to hit in here would be a little draw. And uh, that is also the avenue provided by those two bunkers. One short left and the other one back right. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. These commentators are going to jinx me. He's made it. 16 stroke lead. Final hole here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. It's par four. It's not a long one, 377 yards. There must be some trouble out there somewhere. Well, not really if you keep your wits <laughs> about going for just me. position the tee. Yeah, he'd probably uh, destroy me. Here. Even a three-wood's only going to leave a short on. If you get three-wood, 250, 260 yards, do the maths, it's only 120 yards left. With that, with a scoring club, try and get that inside 10, 15 feet, finish with a birdie. But if you stray, then what? Oh, no, we don't think of straying on this hole. This is the last hole. Got to finish well. But I'm thinking about gators. Are there gators out there? Uh, well, there's gator on the menu. Same commentary. Used to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Great way to finish off the final approach shot with a birdie opportunity. Oof. Tough putt. We have said it over and over. Another birdie. Frank, that front page of the leaderboard has been looking good all week. Um, exactly GTA right, 5, uh, Madden, NHL, right WWE, and I just bought the Rocket League. God, my back hurts. <coughs> Final round. If I lose this tournament now, I'm the worst player ever. EA Sports. Creation with a P PGA Tour. Proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live final round coverage of the BioWare Classic. <coughs> good contact, good result. He just blasted that one down the fairway. Out there about 325 yards. Okay, the second shot now at this par five. Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. Oh, nice. Classic. Well, a chance of going in. This would be nice. Two straight birdies. Stop. Strong par five to start, followed by a good par three. The second hole is 225 yards. Two bunkers, Rich, when you look at this par three. In between is a nice corridor. And that's really the line that you want to be looking at going at this par three. Just thread the gap. 
Oh! Oh! The green. Just a case of a hole suiting the player's eye. Made the birdie yesterday, and he has a good chance to make another one today. Birdie you mean 40 under par? Trying to do it again today. Right, so 32 under right now. Fairly straightforward par four now. The third at the wetlands is 460 yards straight away. It is 460 yards. Uh, it can be chopped down a lot of different ways. 300 yard tee shot, and it's only 160. But if you're a mere mortal, 280, 180, the hole becomes that much longer, that much harder. If I end up at 40 under, I'll be happy with that. Well, we saw that previous tee shot go 310. This one's further. And he's set up for his second shot here, looking to knock it on the green. This is a good looking shot. Oh! Damn. And it makes the green in regulation. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Three straight birdies open up the round. Not bad. Par three fourth, 250 yards, and you tee off just in front of the swamp, so golf cart's not going to get you to the green here, is it, Frank? No, it might need an airboat to go across that. Uh, give me some spin. I'll not take terrible, it. but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for uh, for birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Oof, going downhill, breaking slightly left to right. And I missed it. Damn it. Always two components to the long lag, but the speed, number one, and then the read. I missed out on that second part. Simple, solid, and he'll take it. But one that you need to make. Out of the fifth hole here at the wetlands, par five, 635 yards. A lot going on here, Frank. The shorter hitters don't really worry about the uh, the swamp land on the left because it really only cuts in to worry the longer hitters if you want to try and reach this par five and two. So shorter hitters, two good shots, set up a wedge shot. Longer hitters, he hit straight enough to hit it into the narrowest part of the fairway. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five, his second shot. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Oh! Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on the easy birdie. With a redemption chance here, had bogey yesterday. Chalk that up as a birdie for the scorecard. On to the par four sixth here at the wetlands. And Frank, how does that water factor into the way you play this hole? It bisects this fairway beautifully, Rich. Uh, 233 yards to the run out on the first section of fairway. And that might be worth considering for the short hitters. To try and flash it across the narrowest part of those wetlands, 276 yards. And of course, the more horsepower you got, actually the easier this tee shot becomes. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. Ah, I'm on so the, the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Ah, that sucks. He's made the green, and it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. Going downhill.
Yeah. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Bad news is, Frank, that's a bogey, but the good news still has the lead. Can't afford another, though. Here's another scoring opportunity, Frank, a par five. The seventh is just a shade under 600 yards. And it bends gently to the left, Rich. Longer hitters can obviously get home and nothing really to be worrying about with that second shot if you can reach. The wetlands are well to the right of this hole um, for the second shot. But uh, if you want to play the three-shotter, then that's a very safe, conservative way and really shouldn't cause you any problems whatsoever. And now the so second get up shot on is par five. Well, he gave nice. us a demonstration today why he's one of the best in the sport. Every green hit in regulation. For Eagle. Oh. That may have been a bit too much to ask for there. That distance putt, Frank. Yeah, it's fine to be greedy before you hit the putt, but after you've hit it, two from that distance is fine. Drops for a birdie. On to the eighth. It's a par three, 203 yards. What's going on here, Frank? Interesting par three, really. It, it, it looks anything other than a straightaway hole. That bunker short of the screen gives you like an optical illusion. I think it's lapping up with the front of the screen. It's actually you know, sort of three or four yards before you get to the putting surface. Um, a little bit of a drop off behind yeah. the screen. And it so close. The Story of my the life. Green gets. So uh, tricky little par three. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Frank, looking at this par five ninth hole, it's 621 yards. I need to make birdie here. What's the best way to go about it? Well, if you're a long hitter, then there's a chance you can reach this par five and two, Rich. But really, the best way to make birdie here, good tee shot, and then contemplate the layup. In between the first two bunkers, there's a nice section of fairway. And it's not going to leave you much in for that third shot to a green that's very receptive. So really, birdie can be made the hard way. Wedge and a putt. Tasty looking right there, from just a perfect spot in the fairway. That is prime real estate. How do you get a line like that? Seriously, you could hit any club from there. Oh, well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's formality now. Birdie here yesterday. This putt again for birdie. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. 22 well, stroke really lead. Flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's an 18 hole game, isn't it? That's right. Now's not the time to pat yourself on the back. Safely on deck. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Low oh, birdie try. <laughs> Just want to nestle this one down to within a couple of feet. Oh. Yeah, that's a good putt right there. From that <clears> distance, <throat> he'll settle. This one just requires a little bit of focus. Good putt. Par four, 11, 443 yards. What's the best strategy here, Frank? Somehow find the fairway, Rich. This is brutal. Miss it left or miss it right. But uh, it's Florida. Fairways are wide enough, soft enough. But um, a good tee shot still going to leave you a lengthy second. Oh, wow, I gotta get Frank, something to eat. Out, just blistered that tee shot. Yeah, that has to be 325 if it's an inch. 
Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. The bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Just a pure strike. Perfect result. He'll have a good look at birdie now. Didn't fare too well on this hole yesterday. Made a bogey. Oh, just come on. Singes the edge, Frank. Yeah, but at least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good parts. Nudge this one home. Finish it up. That's pathetic. Did the job right there. So on this back nine, we started with a par three, then a par four, and now we get to a par five. The twelfth is 576 yards. Uh, nice I blend of it. holes there that you just referenced. Eleven bends to the left, consequently twelve will bend in the Ooh, other direction. Saved it. Good drive required. Um, from there, just setting up perhaps uh, you know seven iron, six iron into a green that's sort of fairly uniform in shape and uh, should present a birdie. Oh damn! With a good second shot. I'm hungry. Offline and in the hole. That one's headed for the rough. Into the thick stuff. That's a difficult lie. Remember out of the rough. Put the ball to jump forward a little bit. Early part of this back nine and a good approach shot. Now we'll have this for birdie. This one measures out to 15 feet. Yes. <clears throat> Caught the edge of the cup and in. A great roll right there. Just a pure stroke right in the heart. Here we go at the par 4th, 13th, 452 yards. What's the best angle of attack? Uh, the straight line really is the is the best way here, like a lot of holes on the golf course. But straight, as we know, is not often easy. Fairway does start to widen up the further out there you get it. So for the longer hitters, this hole that's 326. relatively easy. For the shorter hitters in that narrow area, that'll leave you a lengthy second shot where you just might have to bisect the two front greenside bunkers. Here's to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. Pretty try. Up next. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Ah. So close. Good try. Just didn't quite read the break, Frank. I stink. It shouldn't be a problem, you'd think, cleaning up here for Pop. keep the round going those par putts good par three here at the 14th it's a little bit more than 200 yards frank and there's a bunker short frank the so tank to fly that coming in there and uh, if you do miss time one that's when that body of water to the right really comes into play typical floridian golf but um high flying soft landing tee shot once again is the goal oh ah it was almost like that's what he wanted to do, but why would you want it to run over the back? Second shot. Good look at the green. In the that hole! A tremendous shot right there. Touch, nerve, had it all. I guess virtual gaming the dips. Of the barrel. The last part five on this golf course is the 15th. It's 590 yards. You think, Frank, this is the time to be aggressive? Certainly is. Longer hitters must be licking their chops on this. Virtual part gaming, five. you still uh, here or no? Plus yard tee shot, you can definitely get home. Shorter hitters, just set it up for a nice uh, wedge shot. But if you are going to go at this par five and two, well protected by those three bunkers. Now the second shot to the par five. Get me up. About 30 feet away. I want to check the GPS oh, and put this long. 32 feet going up seven inches.
Yeah. Not a very good read right there. Birdie putt coming up. Had a par on this hole yesterday. And he has it. A good putt for Dean's old. Making our move to the home stretch. The 16th, it's a par four, and a good one at 455 yards. And the chance to actually get a good run for the clubhouse because um, the holes are fairly short coming in. So good drive here. Find the putting service. How did start the roll right here? I mean, he just blasted it down the fairway, well over 325 yards. Get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Settles in over the putt. Missed on that Damn one. It. Yeah, not a problem. Just the tap in to finish the hole. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. Par 317th. Frank gets 238 yards. And still a chance for birdie here, though. Green shapes a little bit to the players' right, so not a nice high draw coming in here. Even finding the middle of the putting surface will give you a chance to putt to uh, really any position on this green. Uh... Well, the bad news is he missed his target by quite a bit. The good news, he's still on the green. Frank, he'll have to take a full swing at this putt for birdie. This is long, but every now and again, one of these finds the bottom of the cup and makes that magic sound. Clunk. Three inches going downhill, 34 feet breaking slightly right to left. Left to right. Well, that would have been a bonus had it gone in, but still, reasonable chance for par here. Yeah, there's no damage. You're not going to birdie every hole. So a tester from four feet. In for par. Final hole here at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club. It's par four. It's not a long one, 377 yards. There must be some trouble I'm out there starving. somewhere. I'm starving. Well, not really if you keep your wits about you. Just position the tee shot. You don't have to hit driver down here. Even a three wood's only going to leave a short iron. If you hit the three wood, 250, 260 yards, do the maths, it's only 120 yards left. With that, with a scoring club, try and get that inside 10, 15 feet. Finish with a birdie. But if you stray, then what? Oh, no, no. We don't think of straying on this hole. This is the last hole. Got to finish well. But I'm thinking about gators. Are there gators out there? Uh, well, there's gator on the menu. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Trying to make yet another birdie. To win the championship. And I shanked it. Oh! Mm, I thought they'd at least pick up a shot. That birdie looked like a sit-up. Now pop. For the tournament. Bang. Just dwindling the holes down. Piles are fine right now. Four rounds of, four a rounds of golf. Hour of golf. and a half. And that, my friend, is a winner right there. Yeah, and he should be proud Damn. of himself, too. It took golf of the highest quality to beat this high-quality field, and uh, that is something that you will remember for a long, long time. And on that note,
I'm signing off for a little bit because I need to get some food. Who's ever watching, give me a subscribe and you get the notification when I come back on.